Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and the selection for the subscribers for the next series, Sunless Sea. Yes, if you were paying attention to the vote at all, you'll find absolutely no surprise at this because, well, 90% of the vote went to this one. Now, and I have a separate announcement put there up on the right about the rest of the vote because it does have implications for other parts of the channel. But for now, we'll be engaging in a voyage in the hidden seas beneath the earth where fallen London has, well, fallen to. So with that, we're going to unfortunately have to start a new game as the save files was not recorded in the cloud, which I thought it was. But since I've changed stations due to technical issues and such I um or technical issues being resolved actually I um have to start from the beginning and I hope you don't mind I'm gonna make a lot of the same choices in the beginning when it deals with the crew and such but we'll have to begin yet another sea we can just pretend that the previous captain had an unfortunate accident because that seems to happen a lot according to the uh, loading screen so captain junior will be looking for the bones of the previous uh, captain we had on let's try so let's start a new game are you sure? Yeah, we're sure. And we're back in Fallen London. Isn't it great? Okay, so again, we're going to start off with the basic ship, an old steamboat. 50 um, Echoes, which I'm not sure why it's a currency, but we seem to be dealing with a narrative-based currency, so yeah. All right, so... Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile beneath the surface. You'd, you'd think we could have dug back up, but I guess not. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone. Oh, that's a British way of saying it. It opened up a vast black ocean. Welcome to the Under Z. Oh, God, the, you, you kids, you, you millennials and your uh, jargon there. Okay, pass with the shouts, decide later. Let's choose the pass. The same pass we're going to do before. This, okay, we're in a lodge room. We're our unordained priest. That's right, what we chose. And we chose... They continue. 25 hearts, 10 echoes, stranger quality is gone, welcome to the world, you are now Z-Captain. And I have a gold eye engineer, the same one we had before, and someone's looking for a passage. We'll deal with that in a moment. Choose, okay, Father's Bones, we did that one before. Uh, full Fathom 5, where he fell and bring, find where he fell and bring him home. When you find your Father's Bones, you can retire to victory, explore Fallen London to find your first clue. An occurrence, your objective, ambition, quality is now find your Father's Bones and then retire. All right. Captain, Captain, a regulator of the Harbor Master's office. They wish to know what term of dress do you prefer, sure. Now, considering how old this game is, it's actually kind of um a bit, you know, nice that they actually consider that well, everybody doesn't want to be called the same uh, pronoun as it were. I know pronoun is a hot button topic, but come on, people. It's a matter of, um, how do I put that, principle and honor. If a person wants to be addressed as such, let him dress him as such. Madam, my lord, my lady, captain. Oh, I uh, usually just go with the classics. Yep. All right. An occurrence. Your address as quality is now captain. Who are you? Captain, you're perfectly sure as well as C. Thank you very much. Oh, captain, my captain. Because you're never really not the captain. It doesn't really matter if you're in port or not. You, you, you're the captain. You're the one in charge. You're the one who gets blamed for everything. All right. So choose your name. Also, we can choose a profile. I didn't do this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely that one. I want to be a salty old dog, even though I'm just kind of starting out. But we all, I imagine my character just kind of, you know, goes with it. All right. Your father's bones, a cold trail. Your father was lost at Z a little so long ago. The trail, I mean, at the, at the ocean wants to Z pronouns. I'm fine with that. The trail is cold, but now you have a lead. The Bishop of St. Fiar, the cavernous and sinister. Why? Okay, sinister can mean um, very evil, but it original purpose just means left-handed. So he's just left-handed. Cardivinus, well, you never actually want to trust a priest that's fat. Because obviously they're not doing their job. They're not t tending the uh, the souls of their congregation. They're, you know, feasting at the Lord's table. Anyways, just bef so, you know, no, don't let your first impressions, even even with just words, flavor how you're going to flavor you. Okay, so just before you were cast out of the priesthood, he was surprisingly sympathetic. After what happened to your father, he said, I suppose it shouldn't be surprised. What did he mean? Oh, who knows? Bad blood, probably. Unlock with memoirs. Your past is a fallen priest. You have this. Go. A candlelit room. The bitch's face is stern and shadowed. Very dramatic. 
I do not condone what you have done, he says, but many of us have, what can I say, many of us have, what can, shall I say, eccentric appetites. Yes, I will assist you, but you must help me satisfy one of my own. Dark drop coffee is difficult to find in Colonel Yeah, of all the things that the clergy uh, could, you know, have as their secret passions, ground coffee beans is probably among the most, you know, how do I put this? The most acceptable. Um, they have, I mean, the, the church has been everything from basically the mafia to uh, to a um, uh, sacrificial cult. Or, yeah, I, there's some stuff about the Vatican that's just insane. Bring me, oh, shall we say, two sacks of beans. Bring them this, and I shall share with you what I know. Although, technically, we're Angelicans. That's right. We're British. Um, you can find Dark Drop Coffee in Port Carcelane and Adams Way along the coast of the south, sometimes other places. Return with two sacks and learn more. Okay, bring two sacks. No. All right. Now, uh, right, advice for captains. We kind of went over this before, so I'm not going to do that. But London. Adopt a glimmer. A, glim a bulimian sits on top of splinter crate, clicking and whistling captains as they come. Now, the thing is, this thing, hearts plus one, but uh, unlocked. Survey office. Find out how much. They'll pay. Visit the university. Cannot do. Cannot do. Um, hire on more crew. I'm not sure where the crew... Yep, crew shows 8 of 10. Um, straightforward challenge, 100% chance success. Put your ship in dry dock for repairs. Office passage to a tomb colonist. All right, so, you know. Okay, and new recruit. Okay, you need another day. All right, so. First things first. Let's adopt a Galvaner because I kind of like them better. You extend your hand to you, the blem again leaps on. Its tendrils intertwine with your fingers, and it chitters quietly. It meets your gaze and bobs its dome in greeting. It's very small. Is it old enough for naval service? You're pretty sure its mustache has been drawn in a pencil pen in an attempt to look older. You, you um, approach your ship's gangplank. The creature flutes and vibrates with apparent happiness. The bosun wants as you bring it aboard. You know what? What a keen little mushroom. It's a living fungus. Oh, my God. It's like a cute little amigo. Yeah, amigo are actually cosmic fungus beings in Lovecraftian lore. For all I know, this is a cousin species. All right. All right, then. Lodgings. Correspondence. Okay, read the morning paper, the Expertiate Gazette, magazine formerly known as London Magazine, the Spiteful Trumpeter, and news, basically. It's like the Daily Mail. It's a tabloid. Um, But, yeah. Gets unlocked. But, yeah. Recent news. News from abroad. The captain is threatening war. They always are. London's colonies are on the Carolinian coast want independence. They always do. The under Z, the repair board has undergone another alteration. Not yet. It hasn't, you know. Oh, ho, a prominent coupon from Mrs. Plunding's privileges for half a cask of salt herring. You could use that. Recent news, and we gain supplies. All right, cool. Visit your study. We don't own one, unfortunately. And go back to the city. Just got, like... All right, so let's visit the Aldemus survey office. They'll pay for information from Z captains. Find out how much and what. Admiralty picket fleets and unintelligence networks are long gone. The survey office pays the captains a small sum for use information. Right. The Empire is dissolving, which basically means rather than having an organized intelligence service like MI5, they essentially just buy rumors from people with independence. Now, this may sound weird, but this is actually the case before the World Wars, especially World War II. Before World War II, the British intelligence was basically a bunch of lords. We got together and uh, traveled and talked to their friends. It, one of the reasons why the... British intelligence was so freaking behind the Germans in the beginning. And they didn't even learn that quickly. There are some serious errors they did. I mean, the Americans were even worse, but... All right, one thing they actually explained in War II is why the Americans came with the least experience. They came in with the... They came in... They learned the quickest. First to break, first to, re, first to for, reform is how they put... Okay. And visit us to get ports. They import rever, ports and trade them in here. First time you trade in a port authority, the game uh, out in his favor. Okay. Ask for the need. Well, we can be sure of discretion... No current commission. All right, cool. This port. Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see you're rewarded. Visit the port below and return to London. You can check on the details of your journal any time. Retrieve information from Iron and Misery coming funging station somewhere far out, from, not far off the waters. Basically, right to the uh, east. We did that before the last time. Speak to that authority. Once you've proven yourself, perhaps, survey three ports and return. Leave the Aldemar. You don't have anything for us? Okay. So, foggy street. Turn your collar up. It's always foggy, even when London's not on the ground, on the surface. All right, passenger. Hmm. Crows. Uh, sensible sailors. Okay. We can offer passage to a tomb colonist. Immigrant would pay to be north to vendor blights. Oddly difficult to die and fall in London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take the ship to the tomb colonies. You, cart, you, you just cart these around in the padded coffins. They'll sleep there till the journey is done. Now, 
We have to take this Avenger Blight, which I'd looked up here somewhere, I'm sure. But the things we have to consider is that uh, we're in the underworld, in case you didn't catch that. Uh, this is not underground, obviously. They really couldn't survive underground. This, this sort of concept doesn't exist, uh, whether these vast caves and such. I mean, it's a great concept for the Hollow Earth and all that, but even the people who do Hollow Earth stuff nowadays, I'll admit that basically they're portals to another dimension, basically the underworld. But let's see what we got here. Um, on a sign, oh, I've got to remember how to do this. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. Opposites, I think. But yeah, um, yeah. The thing is, is that we're actually in the underworld, and being in the underworld means that you don't really have anywhere to go when you die. You just fade. So I'm guessing the tomb colonies are where you go when you just decide to dissipate entirely. Remember, this is Lovecraft, and there is there is no um, god or higher power or all of that. We're just all kind of here. All right, London. Let's see. We've already done the Admiral. Hire a more crew. Flies. You have 60 echoes. All right, Doc. <laughs> Let's see. No more than nine. You have eight. So we can get Hearts Challenge 30 Echoes for three crew. Total 11. Hey, you know, I only wanted two. I didn't have the paper one I didn't want. Keep that in mind for the future. All right. So pull up on crew. Well, you know, casualties happen. Passenger. Agree to carry anxious university center to a hunter's keep. He has no money, so other captains have no interest. But he's a passionate youth and promises studies on Lorne flukes will be rewarding enough. All right, fine, whatever. Get on board. He grabs the toys you get him aboard. Thank you, thank you. Please let me to Hunter's Keep right away. A Lorne Fluke, a full dead Lorne Fluke. Watch the shore. I'm doing more thesis on. Do you know they can digest human memory? I mean, they never have a chance to get close one. Bound for Hunter's Keep. It's so rare, something awful. Watch this up in sore. Someone London requires your services. All right, so next step. We need to two six of that. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. Hold. Yeah, the hold contains fuel, 10, supplies, 6, food, colonist. Yeah, okay. Recent news. All right, so we take these out. Advice for captains and the Invictus token. You have unforgiving mode. You lose this token if you switch from unforgiving to merciful. Um, Not that much merciful. But of course, the one small gun does not stagger opponent. I kind of would like to look forward to that. The journal. Oh, objectives are in the journal. Memoir. Fallen priest, I have a room above the blind helmsman. Find your father's bones and retire. Admirally commission, go. We, you can look at look at what we uh, need to do here. And tomb colonist, take the Vanderbite. Your father's bones, cold trail, miscellaneous. Someone who serves to your services, almost safe. Not sure what that means. Now, Proctor's keep. All right. So, that's the journal officers. Okay, so yeah, left click and drive us on officers. Now, the tomb one is mirrors plus three pages plus two. We're gonna. You can't make the search or anything like that. You have to switch them out for the uh, comatose ferret, which bites me if I play with it. And we've talked to uh, this one before, but yeah, speak to. All right, you're so beautiful. She says dreamily. There are briars in your mouth. Her left eye pulses slowly. It's always difficult to know what she's actually seeing. Uh, what does she want? My eyes will hatch soon. The gallbiter wasp. You know it. His children are in me. He smi She smiles. I can't be sorry. I see such things. She tells off hungrily, watching your face. What is she seeing? A potential nesting zone. The problem is when you have parasites, they'll actually hijack your uh, biochemistry or to make new behavior that will allow them to spread easily. Oops, sorry. For example, there's a type of um, parasite that's in cats that uh, if it infects humans, will cause humans to be erratic and want to have more cats and be around them so they can infect the parasite further. So, yeah, crazy cat ladies aren't just a, aren't just a mental disorder. They're an actual infection by an alien organism. Just one of many. Just so you can all sleep wet or it night i do love sharing these facts by the way but yeah the world is um the world is a terrifying place one of the reasons i love cosmic horror is it actually embraces that concept um king's eater castle she says rather breathlessly hand go through it i would like to see king eater's castle over these eyes before i go king i can find this fire star these yeah probably gonna be a while before we get there all right officers shops okay right then not a dinging going on here fuel supply okay provisions do we want more fuel, more flare flares. Ooh, very good. Cost twenty, cost ten for each one. Only have thirty and supplies. So we're basically gonna have to do a quick run for a little bit of money. And hopefully we can get to the um to the wolf stack exchange, yeah. What do they even do? Able supplies. Torpedo components, okay. Land beater, okay, this is our gun. We want a bigger one. 
Torpedoes. Okay. Torpedo nets. Approach. Deck weapon. We got a lot to go. It's only 200, though. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a bigger gun as soon as we can. Yeah, it just did not go. We are clay. What the hell does that mean? Clay stuckers reduce crew, crew requirements, but also crew capacity and slightly increase engine power. They are fitted to an auxiliary slot. When they are not in use, they stand by patiently hand through side. One says sometimes I like it when it's quiet. Wow. We can get slaves. Essentially anything that can reason but is not being fed is probably a slave, but we have so much shit to play with here. Weapon tree. Yeah, we are definitely going to have some fun here. I'm not selling my engine. I'm going to get a bigger one. House of Vision? Opticals? What the hell? Mirrors? All right, we got a lot of stuff to buy, yet, but the shipyard first. Right, hull 75, capacity 40, weight 30, tortoise 10. Okay. Deck slots, we're good. And um, yeah, the steamer, we're going to have to get for um a thousand. Once we get a thousand, we probably, we're going to upgrade our ship hardcore. But in the meantime, we have a mission. It's not much of a mission, mind you. Right then. Click the launch button. Uh, launch button? Launch button. Ah, launch button. Okay, toggle lights, uh, gazetteer. Ooh, we have a map. Oh, no, no, that's not a map. You have a map. There we go, chart. Right, not really useful. <laughs> okay, cool. Keyboard shortcuts. All right, cool. Sharp is mem for map, of course. All right. Gotten, my cotton. Engage! All right, so we don't have much for fuel here. Less for supplies, so we're gonna like um be quick on this one. But we're gonna see if we can find the um colony, as it were. Do 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 to do 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 do. Okay, got the cruising music. I like that. Let's um Hunter's Keep. Fifty fragments gathered. Great. Oh, let's go talk to the ladies, shall we? believe this is what they where they chill uh um uh maybe i should have taken the easy route but hey let's thread the needle low barnet great wait, wait. oh that's not good all right so no you it's the other side uh Get the helmsman fired! Now! Jesus. Already three points a hull. Uh, don't mind me. Oh, thank God. All right, so let's do Hunter's Keep, shall we? Let me check the sound balance. The sound's gone up on me. Okay, okay, I'm putting it down a little. Yeah, the problem is, is that a lot of times I gotta readjust the balance to make sure you can hear me. But, Hunter's Keep, a lump of dark rock swathered in mist like a hundred other Zuntersi Islands. The lump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other Zuntersi Islands, but here is a grand house. Windows aglow, lawns and probably green and lush in the false light. Raked gravel paths, you stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpected warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Well, lavender is cool, right? Inspect the Lorne fluke with the anxious university student. It lies in the shore just beyond a hill. You can make out the fluke spikes over the grass. So, let's hit it. The anxious um, student rushes by you, whooping, but he stops on the hillside. On the shore, standing before the mass of dead needles, is a drowndy in new Christian patrol uniform. He glowers here. This is not where the fluke belongs, the drowndy cries in plumary voice. Plumary? Plummy voice? It's to be taken elsewhere. I have a delivery label. That means I have to deliver it. Student sneers. Sodger is a label. Captain, help me haul the beast to station three. My advisor at the college has arranged room there for his dissection study. My work will benefit all. Who will the corpse go to? Okay, to station three. Um, or to Nunkio. Hmm. Um, for science. One fluke is tied by very likely sailors to drag it behind the stern. On your deck, the anxious student twitches a little. I can't believe we have this. I'm just a drowny postman look stares at you both. It's natural for corpses to grimace, but when the corpse is still alive, it's actually upset at you. It's equally it's very distressing. Alright, so let's um walk in the gardens. Mm-hmm. 
The lawns are neatly trimmed, the night flowers of the neath bloom here in profusion. You watch the hedgerows, but nothing comes to menace you. You can savor the peace. There is a quaint cough in the shadow of the potting shed, an angular woman in a maid's uniform, her eyes a peculiar selfish shale that advances, frowning. She indicates the house, turns on a heel, and leaves. Yeah, we really should have presented herself. The maid's smoldering topaz eyes shows which changes colors, or there's multiple maids with different colors, I think. A visitor of the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do score is the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You're very welcome. I am Cynthia. The nosy one's Phoebe, and the cheerful one's Lucy. You're in a good time for lunch. Will you join us? You're acquainted with the sisters. A row of watchful Z-bats hangs from the cable. Their heads swivel in unison as you cross the deck. All right. So, lunch with the sisters. Melancholy, pensive, dramatic, prone, and predictable. All right, we don't have news, but we could just have lunch with Phoebe. Let's do that. Here's the story. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by the water of a raven that carried messages of fragments of the moon. Okay, we're going to... Of course. <laughs> this is... Alexis Kennedy wrote this one. This is why you're going to find a lot of stuff that's very similar to Cult of Simulator and Book of Hours. Although they're not the same universe, they have the, the same writer. And again, I'm going to have to keep switching out the music and the... I mean, the music comes when we're piloting, so I've got to switch that down again. Yeah, it's going to be a bit thing. I might actually, next time we do this, change the... Um, excuse me for a second here. I'm going to have to change the um, uh, settings so the music is lower, so I don't have to keep shifting the, pro the audio profile. So, okay. So you're going to be a lot of the same stuff, like Raven's messages, Lover's Served by Zoom, The Sister and the Witch, for example. Yeah, this is where it came from. This is the beginning. We're seeing, we're starting at the beginning of the cultist uni simulator universe world. She beats time on the table as she speaks. There's a song she can only hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts to the skylight of the dining room, to the fault stars glittering on the roof of the cavern, which is also... The vaults has that. In fact, um, very important vault if you're doing a Lantern Apostle run. Uh, the roof, of the, you drift like a puffball spore. The Unterzee glimmers, shimmers below. Islands like lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There's a scent like the scent before a storm. A storm came, said Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Suddenly, and there you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly searches um, cheese and bath all of Bacons. That's all for now. You have memory of distant shores and the university and the tomb colonies to pay well for this. You're acquainted, you have one supply, fragments remain unchanged, you have now the god of Z's storm's attention. That's probably not a good thing. And last of it, reconnoiter the island. Hmm. Any stories? I, we don't need to do that right now. Okay. Well, we're going to be stopping by here a lot. Plunging coast, coast, okay. Reconnoiter the island. The she's rarely come here. Nothing changes, even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle. The house, the sisters, the other may be happy to you know nothing's changed. You have port report. So we have one of these now, which is good, which is really going to be a much, unfortunately. But yeah, thing is, yeah, it's no shops. We have the officers. Hold. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So, like I said, we're going to get better at the piloting thing. Don't. I got to learn not to be trid clubber again. But yeah, we should probably take off and head off for our actual destination. Do to do do to do to do. Boom, rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, I'm moving at the slower speed because it's actually more efficient fuel-wise, and that's really the case most of the time in reality. Faster engines consume fuel exponentially faster, not a linear fashion, but exponentially faster, which means that um, we... Which means... Uh, I'll put that... Which means that um, the same amount of time... Sorry, same amount of distance will consume more fuel. You go quicker, but you pay for it. But, you know, everything, as they say... As a price. Fair ship. Your fall. Okay, so we have impact incoming. This one. We're gonna try to avoid it. Alright, so let's go. Yeah, Corvette, that's way too many. Don't want to give him a good profile. We need to increase speed. Yeah, we're gonna get nuked. That was bad. Ah! If we had no chance against a target like that. 
It's pursuing. Great. Boat lions. Can we get them to fight each other? Yeah, we're kind of screwed. Gonna be bad that we die the first time. Can we launch in here? All right, let's dock. All right, so time is frozen. Ditch is good, but we got a problem. Okay, that, that did not go well. The salt lines, two basalt beats cathedral sized. Where the hell are we? Two basalt beats, cathedral sized. They frown eternally at each other. Okay, it's music, music, music. I'm not gonna shout over this. All right, there you go. <sighs> and now it's stopped, of course. Oh, gods. Right. Two basalt beasts, cathedral size. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away its features like rot. Pick, pick, picketing. There's a supply dock below. Visit the onmakers. M muscular pick wieldings rest on camp stools watching you approach. Pressing hip blasts around an unctuous overseer's beckons you. Um. Hmm. Carry Sphinx phone to London. Compile a report. Yep, okay, so we had that. Also, we want to... Okay. Fungal to Zanus E-Cakes. We get funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4, we wouldn't call it Station 4. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, and most of them are used as garden statuary or occult basil. Many of them, many, most of them. Some that go down to places in the bazaar are more T-Cakes. You've lost four terror. Excellent. That's all for now. You've gained one fragment. Hey, 251. Okay. So, Shipyard. Shops, none, officers, journal, hold, story. Yeah, we don't have much help here, unfortunately. Which means they could end up getting completely blasted by that thing. I can't believe we got that nasty. Yeah, this is probably going to kill us. We're going to have to start over again. All right, so we're going to wait here until he leaves, obviously. Or is he just going to circle till he finds us again? That's annoying. Hmm, deep breath, everyone. There you go. There you go. Bye-bye. Yeah, I will hunt. I will hide. I'm not that proud, okay? Survival is great, but we need to figure out where we're going now. Oh, what's this? Do we dock here? It seems like we should dock here. Do we? We don't. We don't want to run into it, so yeah, let's uh, back up. It's not. Okay, so we burned one fuel. Hmm, got a problem here. Can't go too far. We lost some fuel during the fight because I was using it at faster speed, which is not great, mind you. And we need to avoid getting eaten by crabs, too. What's this? Repel this damaged. Been to the fog bank. I've gone to struggle to see. Fed the crew. Okay, so hunger reaches a certain point, we automatically um feed the crew. But okay, we've like overshot our uh, objective. I think something awaits you in a port. Let's stay out of that and let's keep moving. We have to circle around back to London with a little we have if we keep going like this. Oops, no, no, we're gonna keep going in this direction. Hopefully there's something. Like I said, we have to start circling back since we're nearly halfway through their fuel. Yeah, we got to consider returning. Just trying to get fuel from the reports we do have, and I don't know if we can even get a repair is what we have. But we at least will... I hope our engine's not damaged. I'll explain why we're moving a bit slow. But yeah, we need to husband our resources as they were. Man, we may have gone way too far. Or the map's shifted on me since the last time. They did say the map wouldn't be precisely the same. But the fog bank would have been great for the, uh... Trying to be, dodge that Corvette. Damn, that thing was a hunter. Hmm. Got into a bit of a fight, and hopefully we... Alright, so where's the light? Pause. Alright. Really don't want to get into a fight with this thing, either. Okay. And try to outrun it. At least get out of its hunting territory. 
All right. Button Island. Okay, so we're going to go back to port. I know we're just running around at this point, but it's kind of how things start. Okay, again, we're not doing a lot here, but we are, on the other hand, not dying, which is good. Once, the sipping... F okay, we're back to the music. Once, this shipping, simple fishing village was part of London's suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from the cottage chimneys. A lonely hill rises from behind town. Okay, the drink's way too much expensive. Wander the shore, pick up a wretched mog. Um, row, row, yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a mankle chain. You ever seen a cat's mouth open that wide? Oh, it's a fit. It's a furkle. Great. I don't like them. Anyways, chat to the fishermen. They sail around the harbor. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see what happens here, but you need coin to open their mouth. All right. We have. We do need to extend the one. Visit the hilltop. There's not much hill wind on Untersee, but Mutton Island suffers eerie gusts and buffets from an inexplicable local fragment of weather. And on air tops, hilltops sometimes carries interesting secrets. Mm. Buy supplies from a dockside. Well, buy fuel. All right. So, how much is fuel? 20 echoes. I think it's a lot more expensive here. Cost 30 for us. Nah, that's way too pricey. So, hilltop above town. Story waits. We make the next port. Alright, so first things first. Let's explore. Wander alone the deck. Uh, Vishra folk. A shady couple of likely pirates, and that is a drowning over the water's edge. They sit around a fire at the edge, passing around a bottle of something viciously black. They're waging a riddles. Will you join them? Uh, walk away. A tough challenge. A high risk challenge. Seek a real challenge. Okay. 32% chance of success. Nope. We will not. Attempt one of the riddles of Pearl. Attempt one of the great riddles of Irem. Now nah, let's, uh, not do that. You pass on. They drop a joke. All right. All right. But let's chat to the fisherman. It's going to cost one. Oof, actually, it's kind of important. Things post prices are by ten. We're gonna need fuel, so I don't think we can actually do that. We should. Uh, where the freak is the um report though? All right. We might have information to give. Um, what's his name? Uh, pirates plying the waters, smugglers at their work, counter ships putting to the resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the album. Right? Okay, so we did get the port report. That's how you do it. Also, we did not get the, um, apparently we only have one choice when it comes to the, um, piloting as it, I mean, when it came to the, um, events happening, we, either, we could either go to the shore or we could go to the hilltop. All right. So what we need to do at this point is we need to wait these guys out. Don't know what that was, by the way, but I probably don't want to know. And which means that we are going to ring around and come back to fall in London around this zone. Now, um... Hopefully, or perhaps this way, because I saw some things around there. And the question is, who's the worst threat? And it's obviously the big guy. So, let's launch. Uh-oh. i get the hell out of here at this point. Yeah, fuel consumption is going to be through the roof at this point. Might have been neutral, but I don't know. Treat it like it isn't. Yep, there we go. Okay. Don't want to get too close. And... Yes! Got it! I think it dinged us first. Okay, dissect it for knowledge. 81% chance or butcher for supplies. We... You know what? Supplies are what we got. Pale and salty meat. The crew will feast. That glowing face is unstable, it withers and glows, glows fades, but so eat it while it's fresh. Okay, 2.5 hunger. We didn't have that much hunger to begin with. I thought it would give us extra supplies, but we did not. But that's about the level of opponents I want to take on right now. Okay, so where are we? Murray Straits. Okay, heading back to the port, which is good. 
considering our current condition. We did not, however, get the Admiral's mission completed, which is unfortunate. For all I know, it could be right over there. Ah, and it's reset. Something important is waiting for us. But the next port's probably going to be Fall in London at this rate. Like I said, it's not the most um, adventurous scenario, but yeah. Actually, I think I'm getting those clay men because of the amount of fuel that we're burning off. Okay, we'll reduce three of the crew, which will be replaced by automatons, but um, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, let's not, like, let that ha can go over there. Okay, so. Again, it's a quick trip, which we unfortunately failed due to the damage we received, but we're going to get at least the Adamly's favor, so it should be able to repair the ship, I think, now. I don't recall how that really went, but yeah. I want a bigger gun. Hmm. Die. Do 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 do. Mm hmm. Two supplies left and three fuel. We come back in a bit of disgrace. Right then. The lights of London welcome you home. That's much you complain about it, we always come back. All the clatter and song on the dockside soothe the soul. Are there messages for you? Unlock when terror is no more than 50. Unlock when favors a proposal from a bit of mad. Okay. As soon as the gang back the sunset, the terror is deep, but watch smile. Unlock the Terra 51. Okay. All right. Something has changed in the Neath. Something wants, somebody wants to sign on. That's all for now. You have one of this another day. Free evening. Rose Market Bustles the Wharf. We will be there. Okay. So let's tackle, first of all, our lodgings. Uh, rent a room above the blind huntsman. If you don't have echoes to go out roustering, best stay at home. Reduce your terror. Heal a wound. Give you a restful night if you already have one. Don't really need it. Okay. So go to the rest of the city. Okay. Continue. London, survey office. Pay for information. Gonna need that. Hunter's Keep, I trust sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of enduring ma majesty, notionally. All right. You no longer have a port report. You've gained five echoes, one favor, and you've gained Hunter's Keep has been confirmed. You've gained one fuel. Oh, we need that. The bazaar has always taken an interest in that place. Port report. 20 echoes, which is good. One fuel. You've gained no longer any of the port report. You gain one favor. In total two, now two accomplishments. Surveyed the salt lions. Don't know what that means. Happens when one digs too deep for secrets. Been trying to ribbly rubbery lamps, have we? Don't idea. Um, you gained one report report, Quaker's Haven. We gained five echoes, one favor, and one fuel. So, you know, at least the fuel's going up. Let's see. Speak to Dark Speculum. Do you have an appointment? Okay, unlocked. Hmm, apparently I have to show you in. Anyway, very well. You ushered him to the office for the mansion's pyre, a cramped room with a vast desk. He serves you across the desk. Ah, yeah, the merchant captain of which we hear such complicated things. The admiral will purchase intelligence from you now. This is the substance. You ask the element can provide a little fuel to cover you at. Yeah, okay. Um, nope, that's not going to work. Submit vital intelligence. Vital intelligence will give two pieces of strategic information. Submit your port reports. And what is the day today? And yeah, ask what he needs. And that's about it. First, let's go to ask what he needs. In visit information, visit a port. We'll be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest. We'll be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well. Don't worry. We can understand you can't be expected to act entirely for the love of the Empire. He lips curls. What's left of it? Okay. So submit your port reports. And day to day. Okay. So that's about it. So yeah, we have 59 now, which isn't great because I got to repair all the fuel and such. Um, Yeah, that was kind of a crappy run. Visit the university. As new several free secrets, these specimens are the tidbits of sister galore. Provides a secret, provides you worthy of them. Okay, Grant Aquarian, no more than zero, and unlock the one secret. You have one. I'm a secret looking at interest or foreign ports. Visit the Rose Market, Carouse and Wolf Stacks. Fish your terror. We don't need terror. Your terror is at zero, which is good. Straightforward challenge. Hire more crew. We don't need that. Put your ship in dry dock. We'll put there in a bit. But first, we'll visit the university. Visit the university. You've lost one secret. This is inexhaustible appetite for secrets. Okay, quo well, yes, the university's maritime layouts and whispers breathless. Oh yes, oh yes. This is not a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. He she explains teeth continue. You lost one secret. You're now favors antiquarian. You've gained one pages, level twenty-six. Learning scholar is mercurial to say the least, a creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Browse her 
is it her appointment of the university maritime liaison was precautionary to keep his is it his razor sharp enthusiasm causing too many injuries in his facility ah yes the scholar whispers breathily i have budget requisitions have you brought me one if you buy knowledge okay so yeah um we have a memory of distant shores we got that from the dear sister okay as alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of his shining are those blazing eyes. They overflow, splashing to the desk blotter. Stop, he sees sobs. This is too beautiful. Allow me to bring the macabre memories. I wish each individual tome recalled. Lost one memory, game 10 echoes. Favor antiquarian is increasing. So yeah, as favors, actually do this. Okay, oh. Jings. Oh yeah. Very fine evening to you, Captain. What you might call mentor is very fond of adventure of the captains, and he would like to offer you what consider a dispensation on account of you so fond of the captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray piled high with fuel supplies. Uh, inquire further. Oh, who is his patron? He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river, which is patronized by zealers and be men of wheat and vinegar, a public house. There is no obligation to speak of, my patron will hope only that you might remember him kindly. I suppose the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness. I imagine he would not refuse your offer. Okay, so basically, um, Prime Lord wants to extend this. Do you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back later? It'd be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Okay, the hold has... Yeah, more than enough. We're going to need that. My guess is that this is primarily because we're desperately going to need those supplies. Ten fuel? Well, my patron hopes you find these little gifts to be your liking, and he expects perhaps someday that you might choose to call upon the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct you might require. Good evening to you. He said this. I almost got vampiric at that point. Five supplies, ten fuel, proposal, and menace suspicion. Oh, your upskilling is increased as you conduct criminal activity or contact rough sorts. The higher suspicion, the more fiercely the excise will search your ship. Yeah, smuggling. He wants us to smuggle for him, and we may or may not do so. Consider a specialist surgeon. Okay. All right, the dark special animal. He won't do anything till we have more stuff. We need red honey. We need moves in the great game. Revelatory chart. Yeah. We're primarily going to try to get him uh, intelligence. Okay, so next is specialist. She is staying at, we've got her before, a respectable sporting house near the docks. She's made it known she's available for work. I specialize in amputations. These easy to acquire unwanted appendages at Z. Employ the cadre air. Cladry? Cladry air is a doctor who increases hearts. Three echoes. You have 69. Okay, fuel is, what the heck is fuel? All right, fuel's at 16, supplies at 7. We have the tomb calling is still, so... I think, I think we're safe. Let's grab her. Welcome aboard. She comes with a bag full of knives and her own personal sharpening stone. Don't touch those. Don't let anyone else touch those. Appoint your new officer by dragging her from the officer's tab to your slot the crew. Okay, lost 60, gained one care of the air. We no more recruits at this moment. So, grab her over to officers, put her over on surgeon. Yeah, she gives us iron six, heart six, doctor aboard, plus one. So, it's always good to have a doctor on board. All right, so we've got our little thing. That we've got enough supplies to go out and try to complete our complete our mission at this point. The Rose Fair, on the other hand, is a caters to the collectors and eccentrics, and with exotic tastes and gumption to harass the captains. According to the arcane organic rules, you can only made one trait per visit. Choose wisely. There are reasons for that. The honey adult detectives collecting watchful curios. We don't have any. Purchasing long boxes. Some interesting acquaintances. They help make sense. You usher a new day in and perhaps new buyers. I don't have anything to interest them, I'm thinking. We certainly don't have any of the coffee. The only thing I'm thinking about is do we know... Let's see. Sturgeon Ivory. Do they sell the coffee here? I never really thought about that, but... Crate of human souls? All right. This is getting a little messy. Um... Mushroom wine, don't really need anything. Bundle of supplies. Okay. Roach, torpedo components, yards, the misery company, and of course the house of vision. But in any case, I don't know what any of these do, but yeah, fragments. Discover gain of fragments, they'll combine into a secret. The evening. Get one of these each time you return to London. Hmm. Right. So, Father's Bones, Rough Forbes. Okay, so, and we've got the regular shops. Not really. Okay, Shipyard. Okay, Dry Dock. Where is it? Dry Dock, Dry Dock. How do I get into Dry Dock again? Hmm, did I not? Did I do something wrong that I can't do so? Hmm. Is it Wolf Stack? Carouse, no danger. Tire Armor Crew. Put Ship in Dry Dock. There it is. Okay. 
Okay, visit on fuel supplies. It'll cost you one point of alchemy favors. We don't have enough yet. Alchemy yards. Come to alchemy favors to have cheap, good quality work done ship. This will completely repair your hull. No more than 74. Except by 25. Unlock with one of echoes. And your alchemy favor. It costs 25. Yeah. Probably should. Don't like spending quite this much. I mean, I think we can probably skip by and come back and completely repair the ship again. We probably can. Of course, we're going to be risking everything, but that's the kind of the game this is. You're going to, if we get shot at again, though, that's going to be problematic. Let's see, we're at two thirds. Yeah, we probably should. All right. Okay, you lost 24 echoes. We lost 15 for favors and your three favors, and our quality is now set. Right. We are probably still going to have the problem here. Where's the journal? We still need sisters. You need the Rose Market, the time of the healer ever changing, the time that Z will change you in London. Proposal for a man of business, shadowy figure, combine them for these stories and other treasures, memoirs, quality, fallen priest, menaces, okay, objective, bones, you know, we still need to get the misery attempting, and we still need to the tomb colonist. An ancient anger knows you. Great, that's just awesome, cold trail. All right, so yeah, press for passage. Hmm, almost safe. Terror wary, not much. Bait of needles. On to the station three. All right, so we don't know where station three is, unfortunately. Ah, there you go. But we probably should consider launching again since we're at full speed and we've got a decent amount of fuel. So what we need to do is we need to launch again. This time, however, odds are what we're looking for is probably in here, if I recall properly. We overshot entirely and came through here, but we definitely need to check this zone out. Hopefully not the same issues. Now, we will, of course, have to hit the uh, ports there and back again. That port right there, probably our target. Um, probably just going to run that one out and come back. Just do a quick run for a lot of cash. So, and then we'll, we'll consider, we'll, at that point, we'll probably be getting a much larger one. We'll get a whole bunch of fuel, come through, pop into these ports and that. Although we may want to consider going through here to you got further out, because this area seems to be pretty freaking rough at the moment. And by the way, I don't know if you can hear her, but Mrs. Hudson, my cat, has popped into my lap while I'm recording. So let's see if we actually can pick her up in the background. Right now, she's furiously doing biscuits into my lap. So let's get over here, and let's talk about launching again. This time, into the known. Do 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 to boldly go where several people have gone before. No, not all of them came back though. Well, you can consider that as one of your accomplishments. All right, so we'll just come back over a bad Stevener's abyss, which is probably okay. There's a reason we avoided that. What the heck is that? Rowena's rocks, great. Fifty more fragments. Meanwhile. Not feeling confident about that ship up there. It's probably nothing. Probably. Cruising speed, Mr. Sulu. We will continue on this course. Hopefully we'll find the... Okay, maybe we've got an issue here. Hopefully not... Oh, great. Got an incident now. No, 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 we'll just keep going in this direction. You can keep going in that direction. We're all just fine here. We're all friends. Absolutely friends. I love to let nature do its own thing, but it's not to me. There's a reason why I don't have that zone. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. I honestly don't know where we should be going at this point. All right, so yeah, let's. If we're here, we might as well just get the damn report. All right, compile the report. Excellent. Uh, do we want to talk to these guys? Hmm. All right, let's do that. Okay, three terror, that's all. You've gained one fragment. All right, so yeah, the terror is good. I didn't think we only had three. And then we'll launch again. But you decide where we're going here. Now, the thing is, 
What the hell is that? That is a port. That ship is a port. All right, on the way back, we'll give it a shot. But meanwhile, we have to figure out where we're going to go when it comes to the, um, the ironworks, because we don't have it yet. So I guess we'll head south for now. Come around and back up through here. Though we can hit both Quaker's Haven and the Bad Abyss back to the stocks. Okay? So we're heading south. Maybe it's a plan. Maybe it's just a bad idea. Oop. We don't want full power, people. Oop, that's the problem. Alright, this is ridiculous. Come on, the helmsman's drunk again. And being in the Navy, that has happened once. God, the ensign got bad, got um into trouble for letting him letting him uh, on the board, take the wheel. It's one of those drunks that can hide it for a bit, but when you start drifting off 15 degrees from course, it just really starts to show. All right. Hmm. Try to avoid the damn crab again. No, this is going to go poorly. Oh, thank God. He didn't see us. And we reset. Another random event can occur next time we're in port. And fed the crew. <laughs> Go without that for a while. Well, the sound profile profile's fine. Into the dark. We're gonna find nothing, are we? Uh, hey, ship goes on automatic pilot. I can um, I can have both hands of the cat. You know, having a cat on board is considered to be um, good luck, because you know, even the gods don't want to don't want to uh, make a cat unhappy by sinking the ship. That looks like a possible target. Mr. Sulu, you've reached Fulmerill Croft. Salty hinterland of London, home to hermits and shadowy business. Distant bells. All right, so great. Is there a port here? Yeah. The Shepherd Isles. Okay, discovered Field Haven. Where is there a port, if any? Not yet. Ah, lighthouse. Always good. Although you're supposed to avoid the lighthouses, they're just kind of good for a bit. Not good. Now you outrun this. You get to the dock as quickly as freaking possible. Wolf's Rift. Great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You know what? Screw it. You missed, son of a bitch. I'm on your six now. Captain, fire proton torpedo, Mr. Sulu. Loot and scuttle her. God damn it. Don't mess with me. Lean pickings. These pinnacles don't sell far from hidden harbors or something in the back. Okay. Some sort of barrel. A firkin of honey. That's what they call a prisoner's honey, wrung by the lamplighter bee from the exile's rose. I wonder who would make up these names, says Able Man's Cargit. Something to read or cite too many books, I'm thinking. You opened it, you now have one prisoner's honey. I think you can either sell that or I think somebody else may want it. I'm not sure. All right, so that happened. Let's can do a quick run about with... um. That sort of thing, and we get to the dock as soon as possible, which is right there. Mm, gods, can you tell me where my actual target is? Thanks. Nice little community, though. All right, Shepherd Isles. Of course, the Bearded Watchman tells you there are no actual shepherds on Shepherd's Isles because there's no freaking sheep. None of them survived. 
Sheep are mostly illegal here. No, indeed, it's the name of the gentleman that found the island. Greybeard sitting in the village square solemnly. No sheep, one says, have plenty of tails. Ask us anything. Picnic of the standing stones. It will sell you mutton stew and kefir. The stone bottles, okay. Cost five. You can unlock with terror. That would be terror. Beer, tales of stones. Beard villagers are happy to talk about local sites. Tale of three graves. Who sleeps beneath the turf over the island to the northwest? Where will croft the rest of the Z? Hmm. Two mushrooms, five supplies. Hmm. So we'd have to compile a report. It's the first thing we do. The oblique light of the false stars, surface rolling, a polish pot, the roar of steam and flash of fire, three widows swimming, tentacles, and we saw this highness. Okay, it's a lot of material. It could be worth something. All right, we have to choose which one we want here. Engage an officer, Sigil. We can't get that. Because we need 50 echoes, which we do not have. And unlock. We can't sh no shop. Ooh, we do have a shop, but feels pricey here. I can't believe you can sell it for that model. All right, fine. Shipyard officers. Let's see, because we can't sell anything, unfortunately, worth a damned. But, any nice story. Anyways, we have to decide. Okay, so local sites, turf, croft. Let's start at the beginning. Stories await, stories await. Okay, actually, let's do the three graves. Up from the sea bed, you know the drowndees, the sailors that don't rest? Well, they rest here. I've seen them come out of the water all white and dripping. They dig themselves into the ground. They take turns. I think they miss the feel of earth. You have one tale of terror, gain one terror, have one Z story. That's all for now. Uh huh. Okay, we don't have enough for the navigator, anyways. We have a report. Definitely need to figure out where the heck we are at this point. All right, map. Okay, Thornwell Croft we found. We should probably zip around here and come back through here. We're still looking. Still looking for the um the freaking thing. But if we hit Mutton Island, that port, Hunter's Keep, and then come back to Fallen Island, we can get all of that information, which unfortunately does not include the information they actually want from us. That, unfortunately, is still beyond us. Hmm. Have we technically discovered this yet? Whoops. Please tell me we haven't. What is it, anyways? You know me, probably shouldn't be doing this, I'm doing it anyways. Hmm. Doesn't seem like much of anything, really. Alright, so it's just kind of a rock formation. So, let's go. Let's check it out. Gotta be careful. Sometimes I will accidentally double tip. Okay, we found, um... We found the crew. Let's go find Wolf's Rift. I think we did that already. So let's head in towards the lighthouse and see what else there is to see in the area, because it looks a bit crowded. Ah, Western Gates, Western Gerd's Fire. So all these fragments are adding up. Eventually, they'll become a secret. Still haven't found... Okay, so technically, we've got a new thing that could happen if we arrive. And yeah. Don't really see much going on here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but there is a landmass. Abbey Rock. I don't know if it's actually going to have anything or whether it has an actual abbey. But it does have a dock. So we can grab that dock, grab that report. You know, just keep going. Discovered the Sisterhood? We do have an abbey. And with evil nuns to boot. Okay, so let's go check out what the evil nuns want. Because see, we already deal with the vampire sisters up there. Alright, Abbey Rock it is. Alright, Abbey Rock, the black spit of an island far from anywhere anyone would want to go. That's where you stick the religious communities. Trade supplies, resources limited, 20 echoes. We'll pay a fair price for supplies, not a good price, mind you. Do we need... No, we're not gonna... We've only three supplies remaining. Port report. Boom. Nothing is happening. The sisters watch us. We feel their eyes. Their sister crash and rock withdraws. The fortress stands stall. It is the last year of the century. And the greatest peril you face the purpleness of the prose. Well, it is Lovecraftian. Um, knock at the nude. Prep the Bible. Watch the covenant. Something awaits you. Offer a gift. That would be hunting trophy. We should do things. Unswerving decades of fidelity to a holy secret purpose and the ability to shoot straight. All right. Search the surroundings. Uh, okay. Go for it. Someone died here. Far from home, long ago, their flesh is gone. A visitor, by the look of the frog mask. The mask will be worth a bit. The skull will look good in the mantelpiece. What's this map? Time is. Okay, you have 
outlandish artifact belongs to the museum, assuming including Imperial's appropriation for purposes of homogenous taxonomies to seal the response to the problem of intercultural contact. Okay, I love the fact that Lexus, being British, is well aware of the appropriation of Imperial, um, uh, imperialist appropriation of indigenous um, artifacts. Which, of course, is because museums are manipulating institutions, which is what they say. You have one land to regret, all of us one day. We have one revolution chart. Ooh, we want to see this. And terror. Okay, so cool. 16, we're going to have to get rid of that in a bit. 20 echoes for supply, knock of the goot, watch the covenant. So, recent news. Hey, let's do that. Brief attention. The muscular prioress, the abbess's lieutenant, comes to the door to listen. She nods and makes notes. She pays particular attention to the news of marsh breach predations, the traffic of rooftops, and turns you off as a rope, functionally blessing the blessing reassures your crew. You've lost two terror. Okay. We probably would have done something else. Trade supplies. No, they have no news. Wait to the convent. Dangerous training. Like huge and deadly herons, the sisters walk them to the very tops of the walls. You watch through a spyglass as they leap and whirl, slashing each other with a variety of frightening weapons. God, one just turned a somersault. We have ninja nuns. All right, we can do that. All right, so we also have a bunch of artifacts, plus something the Alu who probably want. So what we'll do is we'll be able to take off yet again, and we head directly back. Now, I believe, map-wise, right, Abbey Rock here, we start coming up through here to the Mutton Island. We'll probably run across something across here. Hopefully it's something we can survive. And then we, like I say, grab these three, come back to Fallen London, and that will probably be... Actually, I probably should be ending the episode here. Okay, so we realize we got to about the hour mark, which is where I like to like uh, off my own. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this quick, um, you know, dive into, literally in some cases, dive into the um, Sunless Sea. As you can see, we still don't know where our plot is, but um, we're having fun getting lost. Like I said, next time around, we'll come to the return swing, grab all the other port reports, cash them all in for as much as possible, and then hopefully I get a bigger gun. That's really what I'm looking forward to. A lot of our enemies are proving to be rather tough, and being able to kill them in half the time would be appropriate. Um, anyways, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day, and bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the Dark Lords of content and data.